swingful day for gold and silver yesterday and today again specifically silver has started the day on a slight bearish note compared to gold which is right now trading neutral at the same time we have seen oil and gas trading bearish we have seen oil coming to the support at 77.3 while natural gas is the one which is dropped sharply towards 2.55 levels as we have discussed yesterday what to expect today how to profit which levels you should enter what you can do we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators this is the first update for the day next update we will release before the us session before the major data releases the subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications do like share and comment which is a great support and mo motivation join my free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first we'll look into gold followed with silver then oil and in the end gas the chapters are also included in the video so you can skip to your favorite instrument let's start with gold see gold on the early charts first of all the this was the retracement channel i have mentioned after that it has given a breakdown it has achieved lower lows that is important part to it after achieving the lows we have again seen it retracing now either it has to stay about 23 50 zone i have mentioned day before as well that only and only if gold trades about 23 60 65 you can say it is reversed now this possibility also appears to exist but see these lows are one worry point this suggests that there is bearishness so right now i can see it is trading in this channel once it trades below 2338 we can again expect a round of bearishness here as long as 233840 zone is respected we should be careful here and on the upside see moving averages have started to converge here this is also a good sign and prices are taking support here while the 100 period moving average giving it a slight resistance we have to wait now for gold to break beyond 2350 levels in order to confirm bullishness Stock ISTIC has seen a good rise. The MACD has also retraced and RSI is trying to trade bearish here. Coming to 2 hour, on the 2 hour charts, the handle here, I have mentioned in my um, evening update with the US session that it has formed a good head and it could try to retrace. That is what has happened. But right now it has retraced and now trying to reverse. So we have to wait. It has to take a direction either to break above 2350 or to drop below 2340 levels. For this $10, we have to be watchful, careful and alert specifically below 2340 and 38 is where we can see slight bearishness in gold prices stock stick dropping sharp the macd is in green see another point to note here is after the drop it has retraced here this is the main trend this is a retracement trend and now it is taking again the bullish trend so uh, i will say on the macd this is one contradictory viewpoint which i am getting here thus you have to be careful it is right now in a no trade zone stock stick dropping sharp coming to three hour charts look at three hour charts here see the drop the retracement and again it is taking shape but uh, i will wait for the next candle and once the price is drops below 23 40 38 you can say the bears will take over but i will definitely observe this candle here this is very very important because see uh, it has formed a nice handle and after that it has taken a trend it is consolidating on a breakout about 23 50 should again bring the bullishness so this is one viewpoint which i am I am getting here. The stock is still dropping from the overbought zone. MACD is still divergent here. This is also this is also similar to what we are observing here. So this uh, approach from MACD and the candlesticks are almost similar right now because this drop candle and after that a rise and a consolidation suggests that it can give a breakout as well. RSI almost flat coming to four hour. Now look at four hour chart. See retracement here. Current candle has tried to give a breakout, but it is closing at the same zone. See last four candles, it has failed to close above this zone at 23.44, and thus it is very very important for now to gold go, for gold to now break beyond 23.50-50 uh, level to 48.50 levels beyond which we can confirm that it is trying to give a breakout towards 23.55-57. This is the first target zone, and then beyond that 23.62-65. Stock is taking near to top. MACD has crossed over here, trading with little divergence. Again, the same observation what we have seen on the charts and RSI flat. Coming to daily, before we look into daily charts, if you also want to learn this art of trading, be a part of my 31st mentorship batch starting 10th of June. Do not miss to register for it. Equip yourself with the tools, techniques, the strategies, and the trade setups with the help of which you can trade profitably. You can be a part of my signal channel else. We are trading as per the signals also you can benefit and profit. So write an email or ping me on telegram for your queries related to the services and those who had asked to recommend a broker which is safe secure with global presence which offers a safe free account with the lowest spreads. you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description. Thus save much of your capital by joining the broker. Now coming to the daily. See what has happened yesterday prices have traded bearish first bearish candle second bearish candle it has moved towards the 50 period moving average and taking the support here. Now uh, it is trying to create a mini channel, uh, 
trying to create a parallel here where are the highs 2360 levels appears to be the highs here what has happened yesterday it is a swing candle thus it has to break beyond yesterday's highs and then this zone here at 2665 so uh, i will say greater greater resistance exist here for gold now what is the possibility that it can continue to rise here uh, the possibility exists strong but remember only bullish only reversal confirmation is go in gold is if it trades beyond 23 62.5 23 zone again i am highlighting these levels here now what would happen see the day has just started it could try to if you see a resistance here at the double top levels at around 23.52 be watchful it could reverse again then the 20 period moving average at around 23.55.57 is going to be the next resistance then 62.65 levels will come into picture now see a uh, uh, swing candle yesterday for preceded with the red candle suggests that we can as long as the double top levels are not taken we can see a reversal here and this is going to be sharp enough this is something you should be watchful of. The stock ISTIC has retraced, MACD is bearish and RSI flat. So looking at this, I will recommend you to buy gold at 23.48, be careful at around 23.52 and then 23.55-57. Uh, these three levels are very very important. Beyond 23.57, we can look forward to 23.62.5, uh, 23.65 zone. Again, I am saying as long as 23.65 is not breached, you should not treat gold as bullish. It can reverse from any point of time. I have shared the major resistance level, but not necessarily that these major resistances are the only levels from which it can reverse. It can shy away. It can fall shy of these and take a reversal from plus minus 10, 20 pips. As well. So you should be trailing your stop losses if you're taking a buying entry at 2348 as long as 2365 is not taken. On the downside of selling, ideally the selling entry is at 2340, 2338 zone. This is a very strong uh, support zone. Below 2338, again 2334, 32 zone will come into picture first target. Then I will look forward to 2326, 24, the second and then 2318, 2310 levels will come into picture. Take your positions accordingly. Now let's have a look at silver. Silver on the early charts continuing in this bearish channel you can see this and the top of the channel is now at around 31.50, 31.60 zone. Moving averages have crossed over here trading with divergence, trading bearish. Series of bearish candles here you can see increasing body size here and the lows now at 30.80. So 30.80 is the level which we have to be cautious and watchful of as long as silver stays above 30.80 we should not be treating this as bearish. The stock ISIC has retraced, MACD is bearish and RSI is dropping here. Coming to 2 hours. On the 2 hour charts, the drop here, the retracement and again looking bearish and see, we can see here a clear cut channel which is getting created. Once the price stays above 31.25 levels, you can look forward to 31.40, 31.60 zone and as long as 31.60 is not beaten, we should not be treating silver as bullish. It is only above 31.60, we should treat this as a bullish reversal. Moving averages have converged and this is a bearish crossover, be watchful of this. A stock has take oversold, MACD is bearish and RSI is hitting the bottom. Coming to 3 hour Now look at 3 hour charts. On the 3 hour charts, clearly it is a bearish sign here. Lower highs are done. It can try to move towards lower lows and get the support at around 3080. We can see uh, it is staying with the support at 3080, 3075 and bounce back from there. This is one possibility we should not miss. Right now I can see uh, it is continuing the trend here on the downside. A stock has take at bottom, MACD is divergent in bearish. RSI has dropped sharply, coming to 4 hour charts. Likewise on the 4 hour charts here, uh, yes, trading in the channel here. And this also makes 31.25, 31.20 zone as a very, very good resistance. And on the downside, 30, 80, 30, 75 with a greater support. Now see here, the uh, bearishness is consistently increasing and the current candle is also leaving a tail on the downside. So uh, very important for us to observe the next candle and also remember 30, 80, 30, 75 indeed is a very, very good support. And below this zone is where we can look forward to the next target at around 30, 50, 30, 40 levels. And below that, more bearishness is going to be seen. The stock is coming to oversold levels. MACD is still trading with divergence. It is still staying bearish. And RSI has dropped sharply. Coming to daily. Now, on the daily charts, I have mentioned one thing yesterday. Look at the double top levels. It is ideally uh, forming a symmetrical formation. Now, also it appears that this was the first breakout candle. And today, it is willing to deliver a second candle here. But I will wait for 3075 levels to be taken and then see it can aspire to achieve the 20 period moving average sitting at around 3040 and then I will wait for it to break below the double bottom levels at $30 levels which will be the confirmation of a breakout on the downside and that will lead to bearishness in the coming week as well if it stays below the 20 period moving average. 
I can see a symmetrical formation. I can see a double top. I will wait for it to break below uh, 30 and 2950, below which more bearishness is going to be seen. A stochastic dropping sharp. The MACD is on the verge of a crossover. This is a bearish cross. This can continue. This is the first candle. I will wait for second, third, fourth series of candles here where the prices will trend to trade bearish. RSI dropping sharp. Looking at Sell at 3080-3075 zone, expected to drop towards 3050-3040. First target, 3020-30 dollar levels in the next and then 2950. If not today, then in some point of time, coming week, we can see these levels. On the upside, I will recommend a buying entry at 3120 levels, 3120-3125, very good resistance there. Beyond 3120-25 levels, we can look forward to a rise towards 31. 40 3160 at the next target only reversal confirmation today in silver is above 3160 take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at crude oil. see oil yesterday has seen a sharp slump coming off from the highs at 79 now, yesterday i have mentioned very clearly that if it drops below 78.4 we can look forward to a stronger fall and now see it has come to the next support zone at 77.3 77.5 okay now see it is continuing the bearish momentum but drop then slight retracement then again it is continuing the bearish momentum here where is the reversal confirmation if it trades above 78 dollar levels then you can say now crude oil is trying to trade with modest bullish bias the stock ISTIC is oversold here the MACD is bearish and RSI is oversold as well so all the indicators are staying oversold here on the early chart on the two hour charts increasing bearishness is what you can see this and see increasing bearishness continuing on the downside suggests that there could be a follow-up candle from here which can continue to trade with increasing body size why it could trade very see steps are getting created and this is a increasing body size and it is trying to close at the bottom so the next candle is going to be important and if you see oil is staying below 77.3 you can uh, stay short here we can look forward to 76.8 76.5 and then 76 levels can be expected one thing i have shown here on the two hour chart see uh, divide this into two you will find higher highs you will find lower lows this is an expanding triangle and the median was at around 78.4 now it is trading well below 78.4 it appears the lower lows it can try to achieve which is right now at 75.8 levels the stock is coming to oversold the MACD trading bearish and the RSI is oversold here on the three hour charts also if you look at similar is the observation increasing body size increasing bearishness and uh, the 77.3 76.9 76 76.8 are a very very good support which it could try to achieve but now look at this perspective here see if you just connect this you will find uh, if you draw a parallel here you can see this it can try to move towards this zone that is 76.5 and it could bounce back this is one observation but i am looking at an expanding triangle here and with the median at 78.4 which appears that below 76.5 we can look forward to 75.8 stock has to keep coming to oversold levels MACD is bearish here and see on MACD one more observation here is look at the wave first wave completed second wave completed and if it draws below this bottom you can say now oil is reversed the stock has to oversold RSI oversold coming to 4 hour chart on the 4 hour charts if you observe see preceding candles closing at the bottom suggestive of bearishness here lower highs lower lows and it is trying to take a support here we have to uh, wait for it to drop below 77.3 levels and you can take a sell entry when you see the higher prices below 77.3 stock has take oversold magdi divergent and bearish and rsi hitting the bottom coming to daily chart see on the daily charts look at this uh, we have seen this we have seen this and it is now trading below the median here trading below the critical support levels now see three uh, bullish candles and then couple of sharper red candles today again it is closing almost at the bottom here so once the next candle start and if you see it falling below uh, 76.8 levels you can say further bearishness is going to be seen in fact 76.5 and then 75.8 levels can be expected stock ISIC dropping but look at MACD this is my very point because see MACD has seen a sharp slump it has traded in a, in a retracement zone and it has further bullishness so possibly the fall it takes today could be the last one before it bounces back in the coming week RSI looking downward so looking at this you can sell today at 77.3 itself when you see the higher prices below 77.3 you can take a sell wait for 77 76.8 at the first target zone 76.4 76.5 the next and then 75.9 levels will be seen here on the upside and below 75.9 certainly we can say more bearishness to prevail towards 75 and lower levels 
on the upside a buying entry is at 77.7 levels and if you see oil is staying above 77.7 is stay long but major bullishness is above 78 78.2 and if oil breaches the median here at 78.5 78.6 we can say now it is entering into a bullish territory where 79 or 80 dollar levels can be seen here take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at natural gas See, net gas on the early charts have seen a sharp drop. I have mentioned very, very clearly that once it stays below 2.65, we can look forward to a sharper fall and see what it has done. It has beautifully moved towards 2.5556 levels. Now, another observation here is, see, the bearishness has got diminished. Look at these three moves here. And you can find out that the bearishness has got diminished and it is stabilized here. So now from the current level, the possibility of a reversal will be high. If you see it is staying beyond 2.585 levels, you can initiate a buying entry for 2.6 and 2.64 levels. Any point of time, net gas staying above, it has to break this zone. It has to stay above 2.65, 2.7 zone. Any point of time, net gas stays above 2.7, you can say it is reversing. See, so prices are uh, moving averages are trading bearish here. The stock ISTIC is oversold. MACD is also almost at bottom trying to cross over for the buys. RSI is oversold as well. Coming to 2 arch, look at the 2 arch as diminishing bearishness reversal sign. It could post, potentially bounce back from the current levels. Just let it stay about 2.585 levels and then we can look forward to 2.6, 2.64 levels as the next targets. And yes, any point of time, net gets staying about 2.7 is a reversal confirmation. Moving averages are trading with divergence, staying bearish. Stock ISTIC oversold, MACD bearish and RSI oversold. Coming to 3 hours and the observation is similar. See this bearishness, this and this. You can say that the bearishness is certainly diminished. Just wait for a clear uh, reversal confirmation. Just wait for it to break beyond this highs here and then we can expect it to rise more. Right now though the indicators are bearish but also if you look at the long term trend, the bearish flag formation and if it breaks out in the near term, about 2.9 levels you can see now net gas is reversing. Now also one more beautiful formation here look i have mentioned once it breaks out this sideways movement it is going to drop sharp stock has taken oversold macd bearish and rsi oversold on the four hour chart the observation is more or less similar but uh, the preceding candle leaving a little wick suggests that it's still i will not treat this as bullish as long as 2.58 2.585 levels are not taken stock has taken oversold macd bearish rsi oversold coming to daily now look at daily chart see though the candles are bearish but i can say that the body size has got diminished and thus i can also notice that it has come to a support level so a uh, selling entry rather uh, now we can take here at 2.55 levels and then 2.55 2.54 in fact 2.555 you can sell but then 2.54 first target very strong support and then 2.5 levels will come into picture which is definitely a very strong support level now 2.54 2.5 is a very good support which net gas should not break and if it draws below 2.5 that will be the time when you can say now the bears will try to take over else i do expect a bounce back and thus you can buy here at 2.585 expect the next target at around 2.662 zone first target zone then 2.65 will come into picture and then 2.7 any point of time net gas is staying about 2.7 is a sign of reversal so take your positions accordingly like, share, subscribe and comment. Do watch the next update before the US session. Do join the free telegram channel for live updates. Join the mentorship batch and the signals channel friend. Do not miss this opportunity. And do press the like button and press the bell icon to get the notification. Thank you. See you again before the US session. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.